How are you guys doing? Great. All right. Isn't it great that F is all the speakers that turned up to this afternoon did a great job? Yeah. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. Uh, can I please have everyone stand? Please remain standing if you have a web design background. Otherwise, please have a seat. Please remain standing if you have a back, if you have a web design background. Meaning that you know how to design a website. Please remain standing if you have a sales background. Alright. Those people that are standing right now, congratulations, you may have a seat. Because you you guys probably you know can sell a lot of websites compared to other people because if you understand the logic behind any web centers because you guys already have the fundamental to do this. However, people were sit, uh, sitting down, you guys can definitely make the appointment because we do not sell the we do not sell the website. We do sell the appointment, right? Yeah. And we already put that to every single one of you. All of you already make appointment during that demonstration, right? So let's look at this. Um, all right, you sing your web centers. <laughs> all right, you do, you do not have to be, you do not have to be smart to do this. All right, you sing your annual web centers. Um, so I don't want you guys to feel stressed when this one once it comes to using your annual web centers because whatever that you don't understand, we do have the technical support to help you. All right, so let's look into that. So if you want to purchase your annual web centers. You do, by the way, you do need an annual web center in order for you to sell website. Does it make sense? Yeah. Right, I know a lot of people, um, you know, during the convention, they say, "Oh, if I get one web center after I sell it, does that mean that I have to buy another web center?" No, it doesn't work like that. Right? Once you have a web center, it's just like a shop.com. It allows you to sell our MA brand product, right? All right, so um, there are a lot of different code. Depends on where, which country are you in. Right, in USA it's 6040 and the cost is $350 and you get 300 BV. Yeah. All right? Right. And also, um, React Duration. If you used to have the MA Web Centers and then probably for some reason you stop it, right? And then right now you want to reactivate it, there is another code is six zero for the for USA 6040RA, right? And it's $150 to um to re remain active. And then next, um, you know, you know what I was thinking. Um, Sarah and Jeremy allows me to talk about this topic because I, I will tell you, I'm not a technical person at all. When I was in college, I majored in hospitality management. So if I can share about this coming topic, you, every single one of you definitely can do it. All right. So if right now we have a fast start program we have with any web centers, this is wonderful. Right? And um, with any web centers, I know I cannot tell you, you know, for the past six months, a lot of people in my team, a lot of business partners in my team because they got attracted before because of uh, any web centers. And if they just want to sign up with any web centers, fast start program. Three ninety nine and then you get three hundred BV plus you know, you do get the business tool that you that you need for our for our market America business. Plus on top of that, they do get their shop.com as well. And of course, they do get their franchise, right? And then um, this website, emmywebcenters.com, um, right? And um, right now, for the past about a week ago, we just updated our mawc411.com. Isn't it great? Yeah. You know, you know how many people came to me and asked me about when are we going to have M uh, different languages in mawc411.com? And right now we already have this, you know, uh, live on MAWC411. And uh, but however, I want to tell you a story. It's very funny. This website is definitely for internal, for UFO. All right. So what happened was um, about six months ago, there is a franchise owner came to me and said, you know what, Eric, um, I try to sell the appointment with my uh, with my clients. And however, the customer asked me for a website, and I gave them the website. And then at the end of the day, they just asked me a question. I don't know. I do not know how they figured it out. And then I said, "What happened?" They said, "My client asked me what is BW." <laughs> and I was shocked. And I said, "Why would they? Why would they know about BW? We never mentioned about BW during appointments. 
And then he said, and then this person said, you know, Eric, I just I just gave them this website, mawc411.com. <laughs> definitely do not do that. Alright, so this is the internal website. You do not want to do that. So once you go, go into up top, you do see activate your web centers. So um, for those of you who, are, who already got your web web centers, around like seven to ten days later, you will get a personal email from web centers saying that you can go ahead and activate your web centers, right? So you see, we'll just go up top, upper right hand side is say activate web center, and then it will teach you um, how to land, uh, how to have it, have it attached to your franchise, right? And also we have our getting started guide as well. With our getting started guide, for those of you who just got it from the convention or, or outside, um, it's very useful tools, and it does simple, it's just already simplify everything for you, right? Not only selling website, but also remember, um, put it back into your unfranchised business, right? And then also we have a 12 weeks action plan, right? How to do it from the first week uh, until the very last week, 12 weeks, how are you gonna put it in action and make it happen? All right, so for any web center login, upper right hand side, you can simply just put in your information. Of course, you will have to remember your password, your user ID and also your password, right? So um, once you go into this website, again, do not stress yourself to remember whatever that I said right now, uh, but just get a logic behind that, all right? So this is the website. Um, however, I would strongly suggest if you get time, if you have time, probably every day, spend about like five minutes. Spend about like five minutes to go into this website to find out what kind of tools that we have. But do not try to manualize it. The purpose behind that is you will be very surprised that we have a lot of tools is actually supporting you to make it happen in every web centers. You will be very surprised and get ex ex excited. All right, so once you go into my account, once you click to profile, of course, that's your name. And then, um, you know, it has your email address, phone number, and whatever country that you are in, and also your home address as well. And then building address. Um, this is really good that I, what I like about this is, um, you know, sometimes we are very busy, and um, our credit card probably getting close to get, uh, you know, the, the date is going to be expired, right? So any web center does notify you, saying that your, your credit card is going to get expired very soon. So why don't you go into your um, back office to update an, a newest credit card, right? So that's your credit card information. <clears throat> Website customer management area. So we do have our customer and we want to manage our customer as well, right? We definitely need, once you have one or two customers, it's okay, you probably can manualize it. But what about um, people like, you know, a lot of people can sell websites like over 20, 30 websites. You cannot manualize every single one of them. So we definitely need something to help you to manage it, right? So once you go into to your back office, you do see the content name. Once you click to the content name, um, once you click to the content name, it will pop up this, um, that customer information. It could be their address, it could be their phone number or email address, right? And then when you click to the email address right there, um, you will just, it will just simply send them a private email um, based on whatever uh, software that you have in your, in your computer or in your Apple. So next. Once you click into um, website name area, this is what I like. I, you, can, you can view that customer website, the live website uh, on the internet. And then next, also you can help them to edit the website, right? Which, which I, do not, I do not suggest you to spend your own time with that and then helping them to um, edit their website. However, sometimes maybe it could be something very easy. They say, oh, you know what, Eric, um, I do not have time. Right now, I can I send you an email and then can you just help me to go in and change your picture? Something like that maybe is okay. But you, not, you do not want to go into the website saying that, oh, I want to change the whole entire page. Can you help me to do that? No, you do not want to do that. Um, to be honest with you, the reason why I chose Emmy Web Center to be one of the, my major in, MA, uh, in Market America is because I can walk away. I'm not saying that I do not care about my customer. I can use those times to build my business you know, <coughs> more secure instead of just keeping the customer and earning some extra uh, side temporary income, right? So, and then next, once you click to add a BV, you can definitely um, change the BV where you want to place it, place it to a very last person that maybe 
uh, your personal sponsor, and then with the sale of the with the sale of that website, and also for every single month, our customer they do pay uh, sixty dollars, and we do get how many BV again? Thirty BV, right? So once we get that, we can place it on our cust uh, on our unfranchised owner, right? And then it will hundred percent accumulating to every single one of us. I think this is just incredible. I was talking to uh, someone that um, in a uh, in a in a convention, and can you imagine that how many people actually majoring in other uh, industry, maybe in motives or maybe in TLS? Maybe they do not know anything about web centers. But once you place the BV like that, hundred percent accumulating back to every single one of us, it's just incredible, right? All right. So. What about tools? When you go to the back office, once you click the tools, um, we have many different things like um, changing the design, uh, website promotion, right? <coughs> and also once you click to public contact information, which is your own contact information, uh, how you want your MA Web Center appears once, it, uh, once people visit your uh, MA Web Center page, right? And then also, of course, you can change your Web Center design as well. I mean. You do not need to keep the main thing the main thing. You do not need to stress yourself spending too much time thinking about which design that I'm going to use in order for me to sell the most website. It doesn't go like that. You know, it's a conversational business, right? Mm -hmm. And then website build option, right? Um, how you want to build it? Normal, normal build, content build, right? And the next, where? How do you want to set up the price, right? This is very important. Um, so once you set up the price, do you want to add our design package, like one of the trainer that's talked to talked to us about earlier? Um, and then how do you want to pay? How the how do you want the customer pay? Is this single payment or separately in three different payments? I mean, with my own experience, is if the customer did not ask about three different kind of payment, I wouldn't mention it, right? If they say, okay, I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay the whole amount right now. Go ahead, let them do that. Do not do the extra thing saying that, oh, you know what? Oh, oh I think that's probably, so if you think that it's probably too much for you, you can separate that in three times. Don't do that, right? But we do have that option. And then next, what about when you set the default BV? How do you want the BV, um, you know, where do you want the BV go, right? And also um, with the sales and also for every single month with certain type of business owner, $60, we do get 30 view where the way you want to be goes. And sales report. Um, and then also, this one is wonderful. I have to tell you a story. When you click on help, right, uh, on every single one of us web center, up the right hand side there is a help. Once you click to help, you will see a page like this. You know, as a younger generation, at first I think that this is not necessary. But I tell you something. Um, one of my customers, he is about like in his seven, and he do only business. And he just asked me a question like, Eric, I want to know, does any web center offer us something that I know that you guys have a wonderful um, you know, uh, technical support team. I can call and also they can answer my question 24 seven. But I do want to have something on paper or maybe something online that I can read. I like to read, I want to keep it as a reference. And I said, I didn't know. I, I didn't know that we had something like that. <laughs> and then, next thing I find out, I help him to call any web center. They say, oh yeah, we do. You just simply go to the upper right hand side, click help. And this actually makes him really happy. <laughs> and you do, do not use your point of view to judge certain type of business owner, what they need and what they do not need, right? So, and they, it, it's absolutely, there's a reason why we have such a thing inside, right? And then um, also, you can also click to the top menu bar, you know, uh, with chat, uh, like texting. Um, I personally prefer a little bit more, um, you know, calling in to technical support and ask that question. But, you know, sometimes maybe business owners that are busy, they do not prefer. Have you, do you know some people that they do not like to talk, they just like to text, right? <laughs> this is one of the features that's for those people. And scheduling appointments, right? Um, Congratulations, you guys make the appointment, but now how do we actually go into any web centers, your back office, to make appointment? So here's what you do. 
once you click, once you click to MA website, or click to um, scheduling appointment. This window will pop up, and then you simply click, click to go to calendar, and then you can choose whatever language that you want to pre you you prefer or what that customer prefer, right? And then you can choose on the date. Once you click, once you see wherever that's they have the red, red area, it says schedule sales appointment. You can go ahead and schedule an appointment, right? And then of course we do need the phone number for that business owner, right? And also for your own phone number as well, right? And then what you what you have to do is you have to create a contact. You have to create like a template for MA web centers to make you know to do the demonstration for them. Right? So you will create a new content and then you can choose, you know, this is just very easy. You just put the name, last name, email address, what kind of industry it is, and how did you know about this uh, business owner, right? And then um, also where where are they located? What kind of language that they prefer, right? What kind of industry is it, right? And then next, once you click into that, you put in the phone number, like I said, email address, or maybe their physical address. If they do not have a physical address, they are, they are just like an online store, which is definitely fine, right? And this, um, you can put it in for this one, it's very useful. Um, I have to tell you, this is, this, if you have not experienced it, you may not know how powerful it is. Because once you put in the phone number, the business owner 10 minutes before the appointment, let's say I set up the appointment at 6 o'clock, 5.50 p.m., the business owner will receive a text message for memory website is automatic, by the way. And then you will actually give them a uh, notification saying that in 10 minutes you will receive a phone call from memory web centers for your appointment, right? Yes? I have problems with this one, which is contact text reminder carriers. I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's uh, a problem for them. I always put just AT and T, but they always. <laughs> <laughs> I never ask them what carrier. They do. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if, if it does matter, maybe in, later on we can cover that in the back, right? But I, I don't care about that. Oh, great. So there is a website that you can get information on how to carry them. Yes. That's fine. I mean, the whole purpose is we have these features to, you know, to remind that we have their point. All right. And then next, you would you would like to put them the name, and sometimes that it could be maybe multiple business owner, uh, more than one business owner. You want to put in their name and phone number. I have to tell you, uh, one time I did an appointment. It was it was like this. I personally located in New York City, so there is a business owner that I know from referral, also from New York City, and the other business owner is from Florida, and then the other business owner is in China. So I said, who should I contact? And then she said. I think that you should contact me and the one in Florida. And then I was thinking, oh, in MAW, in our WCT 101, we said that we have to get all the decision maker, right? So I said, you know what? Let me get all the business owner on the phone. And MA Web Center actually called me first, and then called that person in New York, called the Florida, and also called someone in China. And we were on four-way conference call, and that sales was closed. That's good. <laughs> And also, um, like I said, you put in the industry that you want, and uh, I strongly suggest right now, as of right now, because Google, for the past few months, we do recognize responsive website, right? So you can choose a responsive website, and also it's, the layout is just better and easier for Google to find them, so you can just choose responsive website for those business owners. And then again, you can also set the price for this specific website. So the one that I was talking about earlier, it was default set. This one is for specific this business owner. If we sell the website, how much we're going to sell it to, right? And then also, um, where you know, if you want to include the design package, how much, which design package that you want to put it in, and which later on I'm going to explain a little bit more, right? And then um, also, of course, for the BV, and also every single month where you want the BV going to, 
right? And then you put in the time and the date, right? And choose the language, very important, right? And then next, which is kind of like a confirmation page, you want to press on next, and then this is the page that I want to talk to you about, the comment page. Um, I always like to put more comments in this page because once you put it in, this is more like, I, I, let me use, I, I like to use market like to put it in every web sentence. This is how I look at it. How many of you been in a business less than one year? All right, very good. So how many, of, how many of you have a feeling that you know shop.com, you know market America is very good, but when someone sitting in front of you, you do not know how to show it to them, right? You do not know what to say. You are afraid you're gonna say the wrong thing, right? So most of the time we do two on one, right? So in any website, the same thing. We are doing it two on one, but in order for the A to understand that person, we need to communicate with the A, who, the, um, who is that person, uh, who is the C, right? So what we're doing here with the comment is exactly the same thing. It's kind of like the bio. You know, also, you, you, just, you just want to briefly explain how you get to know about this business owner, right? And um, is there any kind of uh, talking points? Is this website, do they need an e-commerce website? Is it a, like an e-commerce website? Or just like an information website, right? Things like that, you want to communicate with that uh, Sales support. The more that you communicate with them, the easier for them to close the sales for you. And of course, all these bars check it. Um, I, seriously, I don't, I don't even read it, but simply, this is what it means. I understand that we schedule the appointment at a certain time, and I understand that I, as a, unfriend, as a web center owner, I have to confirm the appointment with the business owner. And also, of course, I have to understand that they have a computer, and I have to understand that they need to have a Wi-Fi or online internet access in order for them to do the demonstration, right? And then next, um, of course, we also have a mobile version for you to make every web center appointment, which is really wonderful, right? I still remember back then we did not have this, and uh, and I was driving. And I usually, what I usually did is I call into any web center and I ask them, can you please hold this spot for me because I'm not going to be home or I'm not going to be have internet maybe for the next few hours. So they do hold that for me. But right now, we do have this mobile version. Once you have this mobile version, it actually just become easier. And um, I, to be honest with you, I personally like to use the mobile version more than the computer version. It's just simpler and uh, you can put in the information faster, right? So the website is m is one m dot mbwebcenters dot com, and you just simply log in like the way you log into your, from your computer as well, right? So this is how it looks: schedule a new appointment, website, um, I mean company name, customer name, address, right? And then uh, also the price that you want to set. Is there any design package included inside, right? And then when you want to pick, when do you want to book the appointments? What kind of language that the, uh, the business owner prefer, right? And also the common area. That's pretty much the same thing, but just everything put it in mobile version, right? Use the friend. And then also the tip of using sales support, right? Um, this is kind of important, like I said, you want to communicate with the sales support. We are in the same team, right? They are your A, you are the B, right? Your customer is the C. You are, you are in the same team. So you want to communicate with them how you get to know about this business owner. Maybe you've been already follow up with this business owner, or maybe it's from a referral, things like that. The more information that you give it to them, they know how to talk to them better, right? And of course, um, how they're gonna do it is, um, they do call you first, and then call the business owner, right? Uh, because they wanna call you to communicate with you a little, with a little bit more and get more information from you about that specific business owner. And, and plus, I strongly, strongly suggest if you are a web center owner, when you already make the appointment, I strongly suggest that you are on the phone and listen to them how they talk to the business owner as well. Do not be like, you know what, it's all on you, every web center. So I'm not going to be on the phone. Do not be like that because you want to see how the business owner asks certain questions and you can see what's the question and what's the concern, right? It's easier for you and every web center to follow up with, um, with that uh, business owner. And do not expect them to travel to your passport and present the platform in person. <laughs> they don't have to, all right? This, this is usually how I explain it. They say, um, 
sometimes you have you have business owner will ask you questions. So it's going to be like any web center going to any web center and yourself is going to come to my store on on Monday 5 p.m. I said no. We wish we can do that. <coughs> However, we need to sit in front of the computer and make sure everything is visualized and everything we can show you how we, how this website is going to work for you. Right? Coming to your store doesn't mean anything, right? So I do explain explain that explain the situation like that. Right? Design the site for your client. Um, sales support do not design the site for your for your client. Design center design uh, they do they do that kind of work, right? Provide technical support for your client. And again, we have to learn how to use, how to leverage technical support. Otherwise you will just become very busy after maybe five customers or even ten customers, right? Definitely leverage that, right? Uh, however, we do available for 24-7, but we do not, we do available for 24-7, we open 24-7, but sales support is not available for 24-7 because the schedule is from Monday to Friday, right? Um, and also for technical support, it is 24-7. So we, you have to understand, you know, uh, which department that you're looking for, right? And then what about the design center? Um, this is very, very good. I really like this idea because um, there are two kind of business owners. First kind is they do want to know how to, you know, edit things on their website, right? Um, the second kind of business owner is, you know what, I'm willing to pay for this and I want to let you guys do it for me. Most of the business owners are the second, the second type, right? So this allows them to save the time, right, and also, um, can show them how we're going to make the website more professional. If they do it by themselves, I'm not saying that they cannot do it, but probably they, when they do it at the same time, if they invest the same time, probably the design center will do the better work, right? So we do have different type of package. You do not need to memorize it. Until right now today, I still cannot memorize it. <laughs> um, we have responsive uh, responsive design layout, one hundred dollars for the BV. Custom layout package, three hundred ninety nine, um, which include one content page, and then we all spot. Next level is six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, and nine forty nine. Um, you have to understand. All you have to do is you, you just need to understand the logic. We do provide such a service for our customer, but you do not need to memorize all this, right? All right. So what about our cards items, right? We have custom logo design. Um, and then we also have product catalog item, uh, things like that flash, right? Maybe some, some business owner, they, they do want something like more fancy, that we do have something like this to, um, to help them. What about adding additional custom page design? It's $199. We do, such, we do have service like that to help them to uh, expand the business. All packages included, um, all, packages, all packages can be purchased at the activation. Um, or maybe after they purchase the website, maybe they think, you know what, I find out I do need a design package. They can add it afterward as well, right? And there is no retail profit when we do, when we make uh, the design package steps. There is no BV, um, there is no profit included on top of that. However, the digital, digital market, marketing, we do have that, right? And then let's look into that. So how does the process actually go? Um, this is how it works. Usually, once they purchase the design, design center, um, the company will contact them, right? Right after that, they do expect the business owner to fill out the form and also to fill out all those steps from step one, if I'm not wrong, from step one to step seven, something like that. Uh, they will ask them some question like, what color that you prefer on your homepage? How do you want the layout is going to be, right? And um, is there any specific, maybe like um, the business owner seen some other website, which is also the same industry, they do like some other website design. Um, maybe they want to do something similar like that, right? They do, they do provide some information like that. And then right after that, um, our team will do the work based on their needs. And then they will continue to communicate with the business owner. And of course, we will have them, um, you know, we will we will let them to finalize the design. If they like it, we will launch the site, put it on, uh, put it live, right? All right, and also we can help business. The reason why we do we do that is just it's just more professional, 
and also we just want to you know make, make it easier for the business owner to run their own business right and also with the credit card payment this is very easy all right i don't want to go in really deep really deep to this and um usually it takes about two to three weeks two to three weeks in order for you to get the payment right because of the credit card issue you know sometimes it takes because for, for the accounting uh, purposes it does take time right but it is direct deposit direct deposit um, to, your, to your bank to your franchise you know whatever uh, bank that you put in your routing number and uh, also your checking uh, account number if you put in three different type of payment month one you will put the deposit uh, which is the wholesale cost two hundred fifty dollars and then plus uh, whatever extra if they have other extra design package um, they will pay for that for that uh, price first and then right after that we will divide it by three different months and then um, every single month we will get BV and also um, and also right after that every single month you will get additional BV if they choose other uh, digital digital marketing package right and then credit card payment authorization form very easy easy to understand someone may be disputed charges right so you want to ensure that you do get this payment right you, so that's why we do want them to sign this credit card authorization form um, so they cannot say that they cannot go, go back to the bank saying that oh you know what I did not authorize someone to use my card um, it, it looks like someone stole my card it's, it's not going to be happening like that if they do that out right so you just want to secure the payment and also you have to protect you and also to protect your own business as well right each check payment to be honest with you I do not get this so far um, but maybe some other business businesses they do they do prefer each check right but uh, usually it takes about um, also about like three weeks of the time in order for you to get that direct deposit to your bank, right? So each check payment also we do have the authorization form available uh, for you to download. Um, usually the sales support they would have they would let them know they need to sign this and also send it back to your company. But it is also our uh, response. We, uh, we we do we do need to follow up with the business owner and see if they have done this or not, right? Um, so also for credit card, BV will be posted on the day of the sale following the standard policy. However, if they use the e-check, it usually posts on the eighth day. So if you expect to earn a paycheck maybe for that specific week, if you know that they're using e-check, maybe it will have, you know, it will accumulate next week instead of this coming week, right? Because it does take about eight weeks.